Today at Bellmetric.com, we're going to tell you about two different brake fittings we carry, Bubble Flare and Double Flare. Bellmetric stocks 25-foot rolls of brake line in both metric and inch diameters. Before brake line installation, a proper flare must be created. To ensure you create a high-pressure, leak-proof seal, it is important to make sure you use the right type of flare and fitting pair. The two different flare types will not work together. We will begin with the bubble flare. A bubble flare is created by crimping the end of the brake line into an outward bulging shape, similar to a bubble or a mushroom. A female bubble flare fitting has a concave seating area where the bubble flare brake line nests. We have removed part of this fitting so you can easily see inside. The fitting usually looks like this. The brake line and the fitting are then attached by a brake line end also known as a tube nut. The brake line end pushes against the flared bubble end into the concave mating surface to create a seal. The brake ends are specific to the flare type. Here are some examples of bubble flare brake ends. Next up is the double flare, also known as an inverted flare. It is similar to the bubble flare, but requires an extra step of crimping inward, which doubles the thickness at the flare end. The female brake fitting for this has a protruding cone where the brake line sits. We have cut away part of this fitting so you can see this shape better. The fitting normally looks like this. Here are some brake line end examples for double or inverted flares. You can see our full selection of brake lines, fittings, and other automotive accessories at bellmetric.com.